Today we're going to continue our study through the book of John, verse by verse. We're in the second chapter. He starts off this chapter saying, My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. John left off the first chapter. He said, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in. So he said, everybody has committed sin from beginning to end. Everyone has committed sin and everyone is guilty before God. And there is no one perfect. But does that mean that we can continue to go on and commit sin? Does that mean that God doesn't care about our sins? No. That's why he says, my little children, these things write I unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. So John never gives an excuse for sin. He's not saying it's okay to sin. He's not saying we, it's impossible for us to not sin, so we, let's just keep on sinning. No, he's saying, my little children, these things write unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. So what do we do when we actually do commit a sin? He doesn't want us to commit sin, but when we do commit sin, we have an advocate with the Father, and it is Jesus Christ the righteous. So he's saying when we commit a sin, we have someone that stands between us and the Father, kind of like a lawyer. We have a defender between us and the Father. Who is this defender? Who stands between us and the Father? It is Jesus Christ the righteous. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and He is righteous. He is holy. He never committed a sin and he always did what the Father wanted him to do, and he is righteous. He is Jesus Christ, the righteous. And in the second verse, he says, and he, is the prop and he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So he's saying, Jesus Christ, the righteous, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, he is the payment for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So when we, come, so when we commit a sin, we need to come before God and we need to confess that sin and we need to ex accept the forgiveness that we have because of Jesus Christ, because He's the payment for our sins. God has already punished, punished His Son, Jesus Christ, instead of us and He has laid down the penalty on His Son and He paid the price for everyone's sin, not for ours only, but He paid for the sins of the entire world. He paid for the sins of people who didn't even accept Christ. God took every single sin that was ever committed and never will be committed and placed it on His Son Jesus Christ and punished His Son Jesus Christ instead of us. So why are other people not saved if Christ died for their sins as well? Why aren't they going to heaven? Because they don't accept the salvation. In chapter 5, John says, He that believeth not God hath made God a liar because he believeth not the record that God gave of His Son. So a person that doesn't believe the record that God gave of His Son, and this is the record that God has given us life, and this life is in His Son. So He's saying, God has given us eternal life, and this eternal life is in Jesus Christ. But there's people out there who say, we don't need Jesus Christ, we don't believe in Jesus Christ, we don't need Him to have life, and they make God a liar. They are committing a sin. What sin are they committing? They are committing a sin of unbelief, and they are calling God a liar. God says, there is life in my Son, Jesus Christ, you need to believe in my son to have life. They say, no God, you are a liar. We don't believe what you are saying and you do not accept the free gift of salvation. The problem is not their sins. The sins have already been paid for. The problem is they don't want to accept Christ and they don't want to give up their sins. 